My name is Anjan Venkatramani. I'm Vice President of Product Management at Juniper in the Data Center Business Unit, working on Project Stratus, delivering QFabric. So uh, tell us, Anjan, then, what does the launch of QFabric mean to the data center market? This is an important milestone and a major announcement from Juniper. Uh, it's game-changing architecture in the data center. It's a radically different approach, uh, something that we have purpose-built for the data center. Uh, it, it, it completely changes re, uh, the data center architecture in the sense that servers, storage, uh, other devices inside the data center are uh, right next to each other, one hop away from each other uh, in a very flat architecture. It, what, what type of benefits is this going to uh, derive for data center networks? Uh, fundamentally, it en enables uh, scale in the data center, and as you scale, it preserves the attributes of a single logical switch. Line rate, any to any bandwidth, very low latency, uh, uh, lossless transport of traffic, and the abstraction of a single switch. Uh, that's the technical uh, description of it. In terms of business value, people will be able to build very large data centers at a significantly different, lower cost point than they've been able to do in the past. Uh, and a second value that this brings is that uh, it, it, the value that it brings to compute and the ability to do exponential scaling in the data centers uh, and uh, significantly increase the utilization of resource uh, of servers and server storage resources as a cluster. Okay. And um, one, la one last question. Give me some. Can you give me some examples of a uh, type of uh, market or customers that are going to use this and that are going to deploy this and the kind of benefits that are going to derive from it? Yeah. There's there's uh, the traditional service providers who are who are moving to delivering infrastructure as a service. Traditionally, they've done colos, managed hosting. They're going to deliver infrastructure as a service. That's one class of customers. Traditional customers would fall in this category. It could be something like a BT or AT and T. There's a second class of customers who are building out the cloud, large uh, mega data centers, uh, delivering software as a service. Uh, High-end enterprises are also going to derive significant value from QFabric.